Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I've got a pretty um, cool video. Not really cool, but like it's cool to me, and it's a fun video to me. But um, if you guys remember, uh, about a month maybe ago, I uploaded a video that was a mystery bag from a website called Maniology. It was a twenty for twenty dollars. So a 20 piece mystery bag for $20 and I absolutely loved it. It was great. And I was on Maniology a few days ago, uh, almost a week ago, I guess. Cause well, no, yeah, about Thursday or Friday. Um, I was on their website and they had another one. Um, this one wasn't a 20 for 20. This was a 10 for 15. So it was a 10 piece mystery bag for $15. So not as good a deal, but still um, pretty good. And I love mystery bags. Um, so I, I, I was gonna get it, you know, and honestly, I wish they would do more of these. I will do even more. Um, if they do another 20 for 20, I'll get that. If they do another 10 for 15, I'll get that. You know, I will get them. Um, I mentioned this in my last video, I'm going to mention it again, Maniology used to be Bundle Monster. So if you have like Bundle Monster plates um, or Bundle Monster stamping polish, that is what Maniology is now. So I just wanted to throw that there. Alright, so I did already open this because I am a heathen and I have no self control sometimes when it comes to packages. Also, because most of the time, these mystery uh, bags do have at least one stamping polish in them, I like to open them when I as, as soon as I get them just to make sure that the nail polish is okay. Because the last mystery box I got and the um, like stamping kit that I had bought that bo in both of them, one of the nail polishes caps was like slightly open, so you could really smell nail polish through because it leaked a little. Like the bottles were fine, nothing was broken. the The cap was just like um loose, so it didn't get on anything. It was just kind of like in itself, but you could really smell it. So I always like to open them as soon as I get them. So first thing I'm going to show is this really cool thing. I love it. It's all iridescent -y and unicorn skin-like. I don't know if you can tell, but it looked like they're cut in like little strips. You can see through it. That looks so cool. But um, it's cut, I don't know. There you go. You can kind of see how it's cut in strips. This, these are stickers. And obviously they're all, they're just a bunch of like little strips and you can take them off and like make little designs or whatever and then like you would put on your top coat um and they would be like stuck like that so that's pretty cool I just love this I do kind of wish that it wasn't like strips I almost wish this was like a nail foil or like a full-on like like a where I could do like whole nail things instead of just like little strips but that's really cool I can see myself I can see myself really trying this out. The next thing I got is this cool little sheet of stickers. It's really interesting. It looks like almost like marble, like white and black marble. I wonder if that's what it's supposed to be. And they have like a couple like down here that are like bigger. And then these ones up here are like white. And then they have like little strips. Like I guess if I wanted to do like there's strips and then there's circles and then there's squares and then there's like a couple big long strips. I don't know what I would use these for. I could see maybe using like the like the little strips, like cutting them and like doing like maybe like a French tip. But at the same time, I just don't know. I really don't. I do like the design. It's cool. I just, I don't know 
what I would use these, when I would use these, how I would use these. <sighs> but still neat nonetheless. And that's another thing I like about these mystery bags, mystery boxes, stuff like that is most of the time they have things in them that I would not buy for myself. Like these stickers, like, you know, these ones, but it gives me a chance to still try it. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I wouldn't normally buy that for myself, but that's still really neat. You know, I love that. Um, the next thing is another sheet of stickers. And these ones are really, really cool. And I could really see myself using these ones. And these are gold stickers, but they're all different like space things, like you got some constellations, like the Big Dipper, the Little Dipper, a couple other constellations, I don't know, um, like galaxies, spaceships, planets, random stars, little star clusters, you know, I could actually see myself using these ones. These ones I could see myself definitely using. I don't usually like gold things, and I personally would have preferred these to be maybe silver, but I could still see myself really using these and really, really enjoying them. The next thing, which is the last kind of thing that's not a plate or a nail polish. Oh, I dropped it. Ugh, is this little matchbook looking thing. You can see it says love is and you can see it's got like this cute little owl. And you open it and it's a little matchbook full of little emery boards and they got like a nice cute little design with the owls and oh i love owls and i'm actually this teal color this kind of blue tealy color has been like my life lately i love this color so much right now and honestly i'm not and i love owls i'm not gonna use these ever I'm just gonna leave it just like that and maybe like put it like where my vanity and stuff is maybe like put it somewhere like to be cute you know what I mean because I don't I'm not gonna use these I don't use I don't use um, emery boards anyway if I'm when I use I like to use um, glass files I do not use emery boards so I wouldn't use these anyway but I love the design, so even if I did use emery boards, I wouldn't use these ones because they're so super cute. And now I've got my stamping polishes and my plates. So, and I did this time remember to leave the blue film on, so hopefully you'll be able to see the design a little bit better and there won't be so much like reflected, like reflection and stuff. Because if you guys watched my last video, I took all the film off, all the blue film, and then tried to film the video, and you couldn't see any of the designs, so. This one is really cool. Um, this is a mini plate, and this is BMS112. I couldn't find this one on the website. All of these are still, um, all the plates I got, I got three plates. They are all branded still as Bundle Monsters, so you may not be able to find these on the, on the site. Um, but this one is really, really cool. You can see there's still some glare, but like not as bad. What I like about this plate is that instead of being like a bunch of little images, it's just one big giant like hodgepodge of like all these different lines and stuff. And it's awesome because you could literally just take from any point in the plate and it would be really, really cool. So I really, really like this plate. And then the next one is an extra large plate. It came in a thing like this. And this is called the Nutcracker. Um, extra large stamping plate. This is Nutcracker and this is BMXL311. And this is an, kind of another one that instead of just being um, a bunch of images, is like kind it's like it's a scene it's a woman in her living room like it's Christmassy which I love because Christmas is coming up and I don't I have a few Christmas plates but not like a ton and I love like the, like they got the Christmas tree over here it's got like gingerbread people in I don't know how much of this you can really see but 
got the fireplace. I don't know. I just think this is great. It's got so much going on. And this is another one where, like, no matter where I stamped it from, it could be really, really cool. Let me get it back in this little thingy. And this next one, it says it is the Mythology um, Extra Large Stamping Plate. And then on the actual thing, it says Mythology BMXL402. And this has a bunch of, like, reminds me of, like, um, like when you see like the tribes from Africa and like the masks and whatnot. I, this is not a plate I would have picked for myself personally, uh, but I could see myself using a few of these images, like, like this full nail image right here. I could see myself using like that one using I don't think I'd use like the faces because I just don't I don't use I don't usually use um images that are like of people's faces unless it's like Santa Claus um I don't do a lot of faces in general I do like jack-o'-lantern nails but not a lot of faces but I could see myself using like the animals this one maybe you know I don't know this is a plate, like I said, I this one I would never have picked out for myself, and I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep it. The images on it are beautiful, I just don't think I'd ever use them. So I don't know. This one, for right now anyway, I'm going to keep the paper on it, and I'm just going to kind of set it aside, and then if I decide to use it, I'll use it. If not, um, I might be able to gift it to a friend or something. So, the, I mean, it's still cool. And then the last thing is this little box that's got some stamping polishes in it. And like I said, all of the plates were still branded as Bundle Monster, but all of the nail polish is branded as Maniology. So, first up, I got this one. And it is the color So Metal. And it is just silver. And I just realized I didn't check the brushes this time. No, this one's brush is really good. This is a really, this is thick. Now, uh, stamping polish is usually a lot thicker than regular polish so that it can, you know, do its thing. So, and then I got this one, which is just black and it is just called Straight Up Black. And so that is pretty cool. I have another black stamping polish, but I've had it for a really long time. And I use black more than anything when I stamp. So it's nice to have another one. In the last mystery bag, I got white, which was great because I the white I did have was like really old and like almost empty. So I needed a new white one anyway, so that's pretty cool. And then I got this one which is red and it is just called fireside which makes sense because it's bright red so i usually do not stamp with color um i've done it before but i usually don't like i said i usually use either black or white for stamping but it is always nice to have you know different colors so that way if I do decide I want something a little bit more interesting, I can. This red one. I don't know. I could do some really cool things with this. Um, and now I have a silver, so that would be really fun. Ooh, stamping this on top of a black would be really, really fun. All right, and that is my 10 for 15 mystery box from... Um, Maniology, I almost said Bundle Monster, um, from Maniology, and I hope they do more of these because I'm gonna, I will buy all of them. Um, it does say on their website, when you do buy a mystery box, it does say one per customer, but then it says in the description that obviously they can't stop you from buying more than one. You just might get a lot of the same products, which makes sense. Um... So yeah, if they do another 20 for 20, I'll definitely buy that one. If 
they do another um, 10 for 15, I'll buy that one, you know. So I'm hoping they do some more. And I'll switch to them later. Bye.